was going on everybody it's your boy mike rich man we're standing with y'all i hope everybody having a blessed day to day today i am in sunny orlando florida came down here to um celebrate my wife's birthday and it's beautiful man it's like 86 degrees out here got the palm tree action going so I just want to do some vlog action. I'm gonna show some sneakers. I'm gonna go to the, we're going to the couple of outlets today. So I'm gonna let y'all see what they got down in the outlets in Orlando. Um, we did some Universal Studio type stuff yesterday. So for a little bonus on this vid, wait to the end of this video if you want to see the little vlogging that I did down there in the amusement parks, man. Me and my wife, we had a good time. But I'm gonna start this video off with a bang because a lot of people been asking me to see this sneaker that I'm wearing now on feet say rich you gotta put up on feet of them things because they cleansed so without further ado i got a little room right here on this uh patio we got an airbnb down here in orlando very nice spot plus probably a couple of rotation videos like tomorrow i'll show y'all what i'm rocking i brought some heat down here so i'm gonna let y'all check that out real quick let's see these things on feet what i'm rocking right now yes sir yes sir that Air Max 90. Off white guys, Virgil Abloh, whatever you want to call them. Got the real low cut, no show socks on with these guys. Very, very comfortable. I knew this size 12 would fit perfect. Um, still kind of weird rocking this, this uh, zip tie right here, man. I'm not used to wearing that on my shoes. That's just weird to me. The way I laced them was I left the, the long part out right here and I didn't go in. I only went one loop and I left this one out. So um, it can be like a ribbon kind of going across and it says shoelaces. As y'all can see, I, I just kind of did it like that. You know, anyway, very comfortable shoe. Today I rocked them with some jean shorts action. I know I got a lot of jean shorts haters out here, but these are the distressed guys. You know what I'm talking about? This white t-shirt because it's so uh, hot out here. But that's it, man. That's what I'm rocking on feet. About to see what the Nike outlets got down here. Adidas outlets, stuff like that. Clothes, whatever. See what they got going on. I had to do a shopping um, vlog while I was down here, man. So uh, let's see what they got going on the outlets, man. Do it. We have just arrived to the, what is it? Premium outlets, baby? Premium outlets in Orlando, Florida. This is by far the worst parking in the world like it's people parked up on curves you would think like a football game was going on or some like crazy parking like the only way to make sure you get parking asap is to go ahead and pay ten dollars for this parking lot over here or pay fifteen dollars valet other than that you're gonna be riding around this parking lot for hours trying to find parking and the kid ain't with it you feel me so um let's go you want to go to nike first i know you don't want to go to nike first but what you want to do Nike is cool, babe. Nike is cool, babe. Y'all heard her. The woman said it. I, I will not argue with her. Say no more. Let's do Nike. Yeah, man. Had to look at them things on feet one more time. Woo, real clean. Nike outlet. This is a big old store right here. So let's go in here. Let's go in here and see what they got, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. So they actually got a pair of these cleansed. Air Max 97s in there, guy. This is kind of like an aqua color, emerald. That's what they call it, it's the emerald colorway. This was one of the doper colorways that came out. I don't know what the price is, though. They haven't put a price. They just got the suggested retail, and it's usually a price right here, too. Like you see these uh, Air Max 95s, got a suggested retail, and got a price right there, too. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they not as much as, uh, they not retailing here. Um, they have a 13, which is the size I do wear in these. I wish they, I would prefer a 12 and a half, but they just got 12 and 13. Um, I don't know. I probably wouldn't, wouldn't cop, even if they were like this price right here. It seems like most of these Air Max are this price. Um, this look like some kind of great Air Max 95 right here. So he did just say that those are Air Max 97s down there were retail. So I don't even know why they send this stuff to the outlet for the same price, retail price. But um, I actually like these, bro. It just remind me like of a great Air Max 5, uh, Air Max uh, 95, man. I like the aqua with the great Concord colorway on them. These are dope, bro. Pretty much a full size run. They got some uh, tuned air. Those are 
Those are terrible. I don't like those. Or uh, trash as well. I'm good on those. We got the Air Max Deluxe in the outlet. This wasn't uh, in particular colorway that I like, but some told me when I started seeing people not really feeling the Deluxe like that, that they was going they were gonna hit outlet. You know what I'm saying? Bro, from a distance, what them look like? What them look like from a distance, man? Them things look like some, them things look like some bread from a distance. They are bread, but not the bread we thinking about. These them, these them, um, what are these? Look like some kind of uh, tennis uh, rendition of the bread one. Trash can juice. We're gonna, we're gonna stick with trash can juice. Not quite trash can water on these. They got some uh, Kobe One Pro, Pro Trolls in here. It's like GS size, look like it. No, that's a men's seven and a half. Uh, and the Pro Tro things. I haven't seen a Jordan in here yet. I noticed that I haven't seen a Jordan in here. Not surprised these guys in here though. I bet they're gonna have every colorway, full stop, full side run, and these things in here. You feel me? Uh, they got the, the purple Pro Tro. And that's a size eight. Yeah, size eight. And then they got that colorway right there in the Pro Tro. So they, they go, they Kobe crazy in that guy. Some Air Max ones down there. They got the OG Cortez Forrest Gump run, Forrest run things in here. Uh, and these just come out, the Moon Racer joints. I know a color, a couple of colorways like these came out recently. I'm good on those. This is like the Spectrum or something. This Supreme. Is this the Supreme ones? Somebody Supreme came with. These are hundred dollars too. Are these? But these better not be the Supreme. It says ZM Streak Spectrum Plus Premium. Oh, Premium. Okay, okay. They're not the Supreme. I, I know Supreme did something like this. I was like, I know Supreme ain't gonna let none of their sneakers hit the Nike outlet, man. I know they ain't gonna let that happen, bro. This is another colorway. They trash though. They are trash. Trash can water right now. That trash can water. See, I could be one of those YouTubers. That'll trick you and say, oh, these in the outlets already? Sitting. They're in the outlet. But I can't do it. I can't do it. I will not trick y'all like that. And throw these in the thumbnail when they obviously say available only on Nike.com. Now these might be in here. These might be some outlet specials. I wouldn't be surprised. But not them nines. Not not quite yet. Now these Indestructs is a staple in the community in the Nike outlet. Like this should be on the Nike clearance outlet commercials. Like this is the this is the spokes shoe of the Nike factory store. Because <laughs> I promise you, every outlet I've been in in every city has at least had one pair of Indestruct Dennis Rodman thing. And it's like, it's Florida. It's a big skate community. Because it'd be like SB heaven in the outlets in Florida. I noticed that last time I was here. They got the uh, Air Flight Posit in the blue colorway. And they got it in the green colorway as well. Um, I told you, see, I, I'm seeing it right now. Now I'm getting in the Jordan section, and I knew I had a feeling that this was a staple in the community. I knew this wasn't a Nike.com only. Whoa, whoa, okay. If they got a 12, they're getting caught this time. I can't pass them up this time. A hundred dollars, bro. And I actually like this colorway. This, this is why you wait because this is one of the colorways when they first released. I said, bro, I might actually buy this shoe for retail. And that ain't a hundred of them things, man. They not on the hash wall, so they gonna be a hundred, but still. They got three size 12s. They got four size 12. Your boy bending down. I'm, I'm creasing the off-whites a little bit, but you gotta know how to bend down. I, I gotta bend, I'm bending down without creasing the off-whites. So let's see, let me pick my pal. out. They got a few on the choose, bro. Bro, this one has been worn, cuz look at this. Look at that. Bro, somebody rocked them, shawty. Somebody rock them, y'all. Can't get them. Somebody wore those. All right, let's pull out the second box. All of these better not be returned, man. That might be why they $99. Okay, see, this paper looks untouched right here. This paper looks untouched. Let's see. Okay. That one look like a DS. Yeah. That one look like a DS um, lace right there. That look like a DS lace. Let's make sure, though. Okay, they still got two more pairs I can look at before I buy them. What y'all think? What y'all think? I like a DS lace to y'all. 
Oh no, all of them got that little bit of crease right there, man. This one looked like a DS lace though. More than that last one I picked up. I still got one to look at. I didn't realize that the mid the midsole was like cell colorway. And that's the third one right there. A hundred dollars, bro. For actual colorway, I like in these, man. And that one ain't got no. This one ain't got no creasing going on at all. These look new. So I think they might be the pair I get. Can't beat that, man. You can't if 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 I keep on saying I want this shoe and I like it, if I keep saying that and the price keep going down lower and lower and I don't cop, what I supposed to wait for now? I supposed to wait till they go down to 59? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's your boy Mike Rich back with another episode of Hashwall Chronicles. <laughs> Whatever those are. Yeah, the MX95 with the blue and the red going on size eight these are smaller sizes not really my size got the floral air max um air max one going on right there floral action Still got some of the fly knit 90s going right there got some of the um the ones that came out with that uh championship pack i forgot what pack was it called the that's like the association i don't know the association uh, if I find a KDs and I like this, that'll be a cop. Uh, but this is on the hash wall, so Air Force One action. Got some of them uh, denim looking phones right there. Them denim phones. That's size 14, though. That ain't huge. That's an Air Max 93. Size 13. Um, what else they got? What else? What else? They got some of the pimpings. This was a part of that, that championship pack, too, right here. Uh, I don't think these came with like the little trophy or none of that on them, but um, that $89 plus 20% off. I know. The Kobe Pro Dros up in there. Like, they got a gigantic pair of uh, the all blue suede five right here. They look like a size thousand right here. What, what is this, bro? 18, bro. It's a big ass shoe right there. Good God. <laughs> These are some mega stompers, man. Anyway, for all my huge feet people out there, got another pair of the Moon Racers in a different colorway right there. Some old Pippins, um, Flight Elements going on. Got the uh, Sheeds in there, guy. The top 16 pack. You feel me? It's my second time seeing these in the outlet, bro. Y'all know I don't do them F01 highs like that. That's size 11, too small anyway. But I don't know when the hell they did this to the 270. They put some fur on the side, some snake skin, and some leather. I could have told them that wasn't gonna work. And some more to end this truck. Rodman guy. Yeah, man, so I finally went ahead and Got them threes, 99 bucks plus that, you can't really beat it. Wifey got a couple of pieces in Nike as well. And they're right. Um, it is hot. Uh, I mean, I'm not really feeling a lot of shopping today, too. I feel like we should go to, you wanna check out some sunglasses? Oh, they got a shoe palace I want to check out down too, so. Uh, I don't think I've ever been in a shoe palace. So what? it seems like I, I bet it's gonna be like a retail shoe palace. It ain't gonna be like a whole bunch of discounted stuff in it like that. Let's check it out. So this is the shoe palace right here. And before I even get in the door, it seems like they they got like infrared sixes left already. Yeah, they look like they got multiple sizes of the black infrared, man. As soon as you walk in the door, baby. 200 smackaroos. How much for Harley? This is not Harley size. That's $59 though. Yeah, I don't know what. I don't know what Nike be thinking about with this. What's on y'all mind, man? You know? Let me know, Jordan Brand. What's 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 happening? Who 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 giving these things the green light? Let me know. We still got the men's sizes in the uh top three Jordan 1 mids going on. Um, 
I'm good on these. I got the original top threes, but you know, this this not a bad consolation prize for the people who didn't get them. You feel me? I got them guys right there too. I wonder if they got a restock on these. I'm still wondering. I'm pretty much sold out everywhere. Bro, I saw these right here on sneaker steals one day for they was like on they had a real good sale price going on. I started copping. I've been I've been on these 98s lately, man. Um, I love that white and red colorway. It's a dope shoe. But I think they're going to sit around long enough. Oh, these 160. I think they'll still sit around for a while, man. Maybe a later, later on cop. Like I said, I'm buying so many 98s right now. I might need to chill out. Later on down the line, I'm like, damn, I shouldn't have bought all them 98s. Let's check out that purple suede um, Air Max 95 right there. Kind of cleansed, man. I like this colorway too. I like that one too. They got they got a mint one that's supposed to come out soon. That's dope. Oh, they got some of the um. This was a part of was this part of the Heaven Nike Day pack? I don't know. No, cause these ain't Air Max. Well, those are technically Air Max. Yeah, those are part of the pack right there. I think the F one ones is too. I'm pretty sure all the Air Max is um. What was it? The Air Max 97s. I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gone right there. Yeah, because I don't see them no way in here. So like I said, Shoe Palace was a regular Shoe Palace. Yeah, man, so I'm currently at the airport in Orlando. <clears throat> I'm about to head back to the A, man, you feel me? Got on the same fit I wore on the plane, but I never uh, showed y'all the sneakers I was rocking when I left Atlanta. So I'm gonna do a quick improv two on feet in the airport, man, let's do it. <clears throat> These things right here on Wild West guys. close this thing out don't forget to stay tuned for the bonus uh footage of uh universal how does a bitch man yes uh woo yes sir back at the crib man back at the house back in atlanta ga you feel me back in my city man it was like almost 90 degrees in uh orlando um florida man and now i'm back in atlanta in I was served with some of that Atlanta Hawk. Soon as I got back in the city, man, that we call that Hawk down south, that cold, that burr, that air. It probably about like what 30, 30 degrees, 28 degrees, or something like that when I got back. And to a lot of people, that might not be cold, but when you leave 85, 90 degree weather and you come back and it's burr outside, you feel me? It's just. And you know, that's how you get sick, man. That's how you get that Gungus McLeod in your system. You feel me? But anyway, um, I had a great time. Me and wife had a great time. Great time down in Orlando. It's it's a beautiful city, man. It's it's a lot of stuff to do, a lot of things to have fun with the family and things to get into, man. I love it. Um, like I said, y'all seen before in the video. I did do an outlet vlog, picked up these kicks over here. Y'all done seen them a million times. I just want to show them because I'm happy I got these. It's crazy because I rock off whites, off white uh, Air Max 90s, and I had a couple of hype beats comments on my uh, Instagram feed and stuff like that. Hey, Rich, your hype beats now and stuff like that. I'm like, bro, you can't, you can't win, man. You can't win. You buy hella GRs, then you don't get number GRs, and you ain't got no no heat, and you can't drink. I don't know all kind of stuff. And then when you when you wear something that's hype or limited or whatever like that, then you're a hype beat. So. You can't please everybody, and I, I, don't, I don't even really care to try to, man. You feel me? I don't care. Because I'm going to do me regardless, man. Rich going to do rich. You feel me? But um, as y'all can tell, I might be a little tired, a little jet lag or whatever. But I did, you know what I'm saying? I had on off-whites, 
at the outlets and I picked up a super general release that nobody even give a damn about like that. Nobody care about these shoes. So I pay I play both sides of the fence, man. I just buy what I like regardless, man. It don't matter if it's hype, not hype, whatever. Buy what I like. You feel me? So um Ooh, I, I, and I happen to like these shoes, bro. It's something about the color in these. It's something about this color to me. I have, man, I don't know why I like this shoe so much, bro. I like the gray, the full gray upper. The thing about Jordan 3s is they are so simple, and I think the simplicity is the best part about it. That's why I don't like those Tinker red Air Max 1 things they got coming out because they making the whole part red and they breaking up the color. They, they taking away what make the Air Jordan 3 the Air Jordan 3. Now, a lot of people, a lot of people didn't like this shoe. And I don't understand why. Honest, honestly, most times when somebody don't like the shoe, I'll be like, bro, it's understandable. I can see why y'all don't like it. But these, in my opinion, I was like, bro, why people don't like this shoe? The gray upper, the blacked out elephant print, the cell midsole, the gray bottoms on them guy. And that hit them hits of green that like, I don't even know what, they, they call these chlorophyll, but this green, light smoke gray and chlorophyll. I guess chlorophyll is the name of this, this green that they using, man. But it, it's like behind the tongue, it's on the jump man on the heel, and it's on the jump man on the tongue, the front of the tongue. It's up on the uh, eyelets right there. And at the bottom, it's just, it's a dope color. Man, it's such a dope color with me. Uh, I, I, be, I be wondering like if they would hit these with Nike Air. I know Nike Air ain't really causing the hype no more, but if they would hit these with Nike Air, would people been on them? And this is not, correct me if I'm wrong, but they, they never released this colorway. I think, was this based off another? I think this is one of those shoes. Yeah, it was one of the shoes in the pack that was based off of Tinker's, one of Tinker's other sneakers that he brought out, I think. I think it was a, 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 a trainer or something with this colorway on it. I'm drawing a blank right now, but I think that's what this, this colorway originally came from. But anyway, the Air Jordan 3 chlorophyll things, these shoes. I was actually gonna buy them retail when they first released. And when I saw how many people was like, bro, those are trash, I'm not copping. I was like, you know what? These are gonna collect the most thickest dust tan ever. And I'm going to be able to go to the outlets and get them for the price of $99.99. That's what I paid $100 for these things. I actually, y'all see me flipping through the shoes and stuff like that. I would actually pick one shoe out of one box and the other shoe out of the other box to, to get my perfect pair the way I like it. I know I was spending $100, but at least, you know what I'm saying, with sneakers like this, when they give you, when you have a chance to choose like that, when they just sitting in front of you and you can go in the boxes and choose your uh, pair like that, I'm going to always do it. I did the same thing with the Mellow 13s. I picked out one shoe out of one box, one shoe out of the other box, made a perfect pair, man. So anyway, that's enough of talking about that shoe. Like I said, man, fun. Orlando is fun, man. <laughs> Orlando is very fun, man. Me and wife had a ball down there. It was almost like it's, I, I went down there long enough. We was down there for like four days, bro. And it was just like over with too quick. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could, I could chill down there for a minute. I love how it's, it's, it's a tourist, uh, uh, it's a tourist attraction, which means it's traffic at certain parts of the day. But for some reason, the way they got their roads set up down there, it just seemed like it was very easy to get around. We rented a car. We was gonna Uber at first, but Uber was just money was just piling up on Uber. So we just decided to rent a car because if you want to bounce from place to place, it's easier when you go ahead and rent a car. But um. Yeah, we got like a Nissan Maxima or something. I would just ride. I was putting the pedal down on that thing. I was mashing out, it, feel me? Um, but that's it, man. Like, um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I know I enjoyed making it. I enjoy. I wanted to vlog a little bit more than I could. I was gonna do two separate vlogs. I was gonna do like a shopping vlog and hit all the outlets. And then I was gonna do a separate vlog of just the amusement parks and eating out and stuff like that. It just didn't work out that way. Cause me and wife was trying to have fun. I didn't want to feel like I was recording all the time. Plus. The vlog just didn't work out like I wanted to in amusement parts because as you know, when you get on them rides, it's kind of dark. A lot of those ride, the movie kind of rides, they, it gets dark um, on those rides so you can't really see stuff when I'm trying to film on the inside. And then another reason I didn't end up doing all the outlets is because we only hit one outlet. And it was like, like I said, it was like 90 degrees out there. And we had been at the park one day walking around all day. And then it was walking around the outlet and it was hot. I was like, bro, I'm not finna hit all these outlets. They, they probably got some dope stuff at the outlet. It's like four or five outlets in Orlando, but I only hit one. 
because it was just, it was just, I wanted to hit a couple more, but you know, you gotta eat lunch, and then by the time you finish that, then wife wanted to go to the movies, we went to the movies and stuff like that. So, by the way, Movie Channel is coming back uh, this weekend, Captain Marvel. Me and wife are gonna go watch it and do a review and put it up on my movie channel, Movie Heads is coming back, man. Check for that thing, yes sir. Um, but anyway, yeah, we went to movies a couple of times, and we just try to have fun down there, man. Just so the vlogging didn't quite work like I work out like I wanted it to, but I hope y'all enjoy this video anyway. So with that being said, it's been your boy Mike Rich. I appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Make sure you stay tuned after this segment of the video because I put the universal stuff at the end of the video just in case all the sneaker people are like I don't want to see you having fun at the at the uh, amusement park, Rich. I don't care about that. I don't care about that. Y'all can stop the video after this part and then everybody else who want to see, we had a good time uh, at the amusement park, uh, Islands of Adventure and stuff like that. Y'all can stay tuned for after this. Anyway, hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all? Right now, it feels like I'm walking at an extremely brisk, accelerated, accelerated pace right now. That's because, look, the ground is moving when I'm standing still. I'm sorry. I'm still moving and standing still at the same time. Anyway, man, your boy is in Orlando at Islands of Adventure. Universal Studios with the wife because it's my wife's birthday. Happy birthday, baby. Thank you. Hey, y'all. Today, man, I just want to do, well, while we down here, I just want to show y'all some of the stuff that we getting into. Um, of course, no no Mike Rich video is complete without sneakers, so I'm going to definitely show y'all what I'm wearing on feet every day. Also, I might do some little outlet slight shopping if it's like my wife. If you buy me something. I, now I gotta buy something, so the ticket has been extended. But anyway, uh, that's it, man. So let's go and get a shoe tape, shoe check going on. And hold up, we here. We just now walking up. Wife got on the heat. 97s I bought them. Your boy Rich is rocking. She bought me these from. That's ironic, cause she bought me these for my birthday. Shout out to my baby Harley. Love you so much. Shout out to Jay. Y'all take care of the house while I'm gone. And um, we got bubbles. Sorry, Harley. Oh, but I ain't gonna show my baby this. She's gonna be jealous. When she turns three, we will be coming back and doing the Disney thing. But right now, we finna enjoy this Orlando guy. So, anyway, man, I actually might try to clutch my phone like this so I can actually get us on rides and stuff like that. It's gonna be fun. We're gonna bring y'all into what we doing. Y'all gonna be like, Rich, we don't wanna see you have fun. Anyway, we're gonna do it anyway. Let go. So, we are currently in the Joe Jameson Spider Man newsroom right now as you can see we got these old ass outdated computers and a croissant that doesn't seem to be quite real <laughs> we've been chosen we actually bought skip passes i guess this is where they developed the picture wife didn't want to get the skip passes what happened wife they were really expensive and i didn't think it was a good investment but whatever but we here so and we got in the skip line real quick we passed by everybody else so it's the move. Yeah, man, we just rolled that back down in front of the home, man. Saw the chain. Roller coaster. That's our first roller coaster we rode today. What you think about it? It was amazing. It was so exhilarating. My lips chapped because it took me. <laughs> it, took, it took you for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was exhilarating, like wife said. That we had to put our phones. And all our stuff in our pockets and lockers because I guess people's stuff be falling out of their pockets and stuff like that. But it was all the chain, man. We're gonna ride everything. We're gonna ride. I bought the skip pass. We're gonna ride everything, man. Let go. Hey, man. So, y'all see my boy Captain America, man. We're gonna have, we gonna have some drinks later on, man. Me and, me and old Cap, you feel me? Like, I'm a girl storm right there. You know, she doing her thing, man. She kind of she kind of stay up there all day. She don't really like to come down too much, you feel me? Uh, what else we got going on over here? I don't know where he is. I'm not that bigger comic book head. Is it Brainiac or something? Maybe that's Brainiac. I think Brainiac is DC. This is mostly Marvel stuff. Um, you know what is crazy? Um, Disney has most of the Marvel licenses. 
But they got a lot of Marvel stuff over here in the, in the Universal, you know, area or whatever. I thought that was, I'm getting my little nerd type action on right now, so, you know, you feel me? Oh no, it's dope though. We're trying to see everything, we're trying to do everything, man. So, um, for some reason, I feel like it's some monkey business going on back here in this area. What's your name, babe? I think it is. Some monkey business. Are we going in here? We are. Well, I guess we've been chosen. <laughs> so, rumor is it's a big ass gorilla back here somewhere. So, um, I'm, I'm curious to see what's happening with it. They got us going through uh, catacombs and stuff and whatnot. What's all this? What's all this bamboo action that's happening behind us? Um, I don't know. You nervous, know man? This ain't a big ass grill back here. You scared? I think you can handle it. Um, I don't know. Ever since Harambe, I've been kind of like skeptical of gorillas, man. So they need to have him caged behind some of this thick ass bamboo they got going. You feel me? I don't know what's going on over there. Yeah, so uh, this hallway is not, it's not creepy at all, is it? <laughs> all right, mate. We are about to go on a safari through the jungles of the cave. What is this called? King Kong. King Kong Skull Island. I brought character for a minute, but I'm back. <laughs> And looks like some kind of remains ahead. Mummies. Yeah, they're mummy fights, girls. Anyway, this is gonna make me want my mummy when it's over with. I'm quite petrified at the moment. But it seems like our transport is approaching. Wait a minute. Look at the driver, she's kind of weird. She's kind of stiff. Our transport is approaching. Look. I don't know. This thing looks like it might not hold up. Looks pretty old. Look. Claw scratches. This might not be the move, people. Ah, we're getting on. Y'all grab a seat and stow your gear. We got a rough ride ahead, so you best keep your rear end down and your hands, arms, and feet inside the truck. And you won't be yeah. needing those goggles until we get inside the cave. We gotta wait till we get inside the cave to put, put, to put on the goggles. <laughs> what do you think? I don't know how to talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> that was good enough. It sounds like you got peanut butter in your mouth. Let's do it. Horn and bridge. Uh oh. Which means you greenhorns, listen to me. You just might live to tell about it. Uh oh. Until we get in the cave, we don't need them until we get in the cave. Remember, just about everything on this island wants to kill you. What? Oh, Y'all didn't say that before we got on them. <laughs> oh, Looks like things are heating up. Oh man, that fire is hot. That fire is hot. Okay, from Atlanta. Put on your goggles, but keep your eyes wide open. From Atlanta, man, I ain't used to this. How did y'all get out? Big in Texas. Good one. But don't start your walk until I stop this truck, you hear? So, uh, <laughs> Kong Skull Allen was pretty dope. My wife said it could have been long. She was sitting on the end, so she saw the actual screens go to the floor. It had a 3D effect going on with it. But, I didn't see the I didn't see the screen stop, so it was dope to me. It would have been it would have it wouldn't have been looked good if I vlogged it because you had to have a 3D glass on to be able to see the stuff coming at you. It literally puts you like in the middle of the King Kong movie, like you inside this thing, and it's like the T Rex and King Kong fighting um, on both sides. Like, you know what I'm saying? It just felt like it was just throwing the uh, cart both sides, the trolley, whatever it was in, and it, it, uh, it scared me so bad it made me lose my accent. Huh? I sound like I'm from Atlanta now for some reason. So <laughs> anyway, um, let's see what's, let's see what's happening next. So, welcome to Hogsmeade. This is like the Harry Potter land or something, child. I don't know. So to the right is Hogsmeade. 
and to the left is Hogwarts. I don't know which way to go, babe. Do you? I don't. What do you call somebody who's really into Harry Potter? You call him like a pothead or something? Potter head? That's beer. So, we're here in Hogsmeade. Looks like it's snowing on the buildings, but it's quite cold. It's quite some, hot, actually. Yeah, quite hot. That's what I mean. Mm -hmm. Have some gilly water and some magical grapes. Mm -hmm. I think these will be delicious. What do you think, wife? I think they will be, babe. I think we should go see what Hogwarts and Hogsmeade is all about. Let's go. With all the other potheads. All right. So let's okay. do it. All right. This is interesting right here. That's interesting. Whatever this ride is, I'm finna ride it. Let's do it. Man, the picture's talking to me, guys. Huh? Potter, Potter, Potter. What? That excrescence wouldn't even make a substitute. Hey, man, you need to chill out, bro. You're mad, sir, sir. What? Just watch. I'll wager young Mr. Potter and Gryffindor. Bruh. If I start seeing pictures talking in real life, it's gonna be a prom prom. Periphery. What else they got going on? Over here, Potter Land. Carry my picture down to the stands. For real? My eyes never stop talking about Potter's Quidditch skills. For real? I'd really rather see for myself. Come on, don't you think it's Johnny? What's she talking about? What's she talking about? Mike, Rich, no hype, just kicks. Jordan, six, eight and nine, fit. Hottest, trans, clank, clank, cleanse, bless, yes. I'm rich, ill, I can't eat, you know me. OG, only, real, no phony. ATL, homie, shot my boy T. Just kidding. Jordan sits in my 